hope you're having a good day today. I got done with my day job a little early and I have some time to paint. So I thought it'd be good to do it on a live stream so I can paint with you. And I was thinking today it would be fun to do a, another beach scene, but this time instead of using the brown sand colors, I thought it would be fun to make it like a fantasy beach scene or more cartoony. So I'm going to use some pink, uh, red, yellow, and purple. So let me know what you think about that. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but I thought it'd be fun to try. So in the comments, if you're joining me, please say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. And let me know if you've done paint pouring before, if you've done the swipe, if you're new. Let me know in the comments. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna change my camera view so that way you can see my table. There we go. And to start, let me move these aside so I don't make a terrible mess. Got my colors. I'm gonna start by adding some white paint to the sides and edges. This helps at this helps at the end. Sorry, I was thinking as I was trying to do <laughs> this helps the canvas absorb the paint. So that way when I'm working on my swipe and my surface, then I don't have to worry about the edges. The past couple live paintings I've done, I have missed part of the edges because I was too busy talking. So this is going to definitely help me. Okay. And instead of putting silicone in my colors, I am going to use the coconut hair serum because my experiments with that have been very successful, I should say. And you, if you want to see the results of the ones I've done with them, they're the past couple videos that I've posted. Those are the experiments I've been doing using hair serum, silicone oil, and dish soap. Believe it or not, dish soap. And I will say the coconut hair serum is really good because it makes my room smell amazing. So I'm going to use these cups. These cups I got from a friend. Uh, Carol Ann who had these from a party they're extra and she knew I do did paint pouring and she thought they'd be very helpful to me and I gave her a great big hug and said absolutely thank you and they're cute so I'm going to start with pouring some paint into these cups instead of directly from my bottles because I'm going to be adding the additive the hair serum in the paint and I don't want to mix it into my bottles because I may not want to use the hair serum in the next project that I use with these colors. Okay, this is the blue. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Ooh, Florida. How is the weather today in Florida? Today, I'm in Tucson, Arizona, and it is hot. It's about 100 degrees and the humidity is up. Luckily, I have a, my day job is in the office and my husband fixed the air conditioner for me, but he is outside a lot. So he gets to see the weather firsthand, which it can be quite dreadful. This color is the aqua green. So now we've got the metallic purple, the phalocyane blue, it's the name I can never say properly, have the light blue permanent, and aqua green. So now, oh, you just moved here from Tucson, ooh. <laughs> That's a big trip. All right, I'm gonna add a few drops. 
this, you can see it's the top broke off. It's a, a push bottle. So I'm just going to kind of guess what a few drops is. Just use a best guess. And it's no big deal if I get a little more than I need. Oh, this smells so good in here. <laughs> All righty. Yep, a few drizzles. And we're going to see what happens. And I'm going to do this piece as a two-piece duo set. Okay, give this a good mix. These are my ocean colors. And I added the purple into it to help tie it into the little fantasy theme. If you go on my website, paintforacademy.com, I do have a free tutorial there. And it is the beach theme one. And it's how I made, I believe, it was an 18 by 24 canvas. And I'm using this same technique, but I use silicone. And I used browns and gold for the sand. And it's just a beautiful technique. And I did another beach scene where I did it where the, it was like an island in the corner. And that turned out pretty cool too. It almost looks like a abstract sun with how I did it. But it's very cool. Okay, so I got these mixed up. You just heard about flood penetral, inexpensive, oil-based. Wow. Now I'm not sure about using oil based into acrylic paint, so definitely I would love to hear how that turns out. Okay, got these mixed up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with this purple color. And I'm just going to kind of uh, lay it on the canvas. No particular way. I'm just going to get color on the canvas. Now here is the aqua green. Yeah, silicone oil is um, oil based. Oh, are you talking about the flood penetral as the for the cells? Yeah. Oh yeah, let me know how that works out. I had it in my mind. I'm a little tired. <laughs> my mind that you're using that as the pouring medium. Um, but yeah. I am loving these experiments I've been doing, how to make cells, because silicone oil is fun and all, but it is a little hard to clean up. And I would love to find something that was a little easier to use that I can use on resin without a lot of um, headache, because resin can be quite finicky, as you might know. And it can be very challenging to do and it just breaks my heart you go through all this effort to make your painting you clean it put the resin on and then something glitchy with the resin because of that silicone oil okay now I'm laying my white which is my swipe color and notice I left this area down here this is where I'm going to put my sand so it's okay that this white's coming down that's no biggie i'll start here got my paper towel and i'm gonna just shave it trim it up a little bit i'm gonna put it right here i'm just gonna set it on the white i'm not pushing to the canvas because you don't want to swipe the color off you want to pull the white over so here we go cross your fingers that this hair serum is going to work Ooh, look at there so far. Wow. Can you guys see that? Look how fast they're popping up too. Very cool. I'm 
gonna do my other one now. Okay, just laying it on the white. Don't push to the canvas, just let the paint grab it and then pull it on top of the colors. And cross your fingers again, because that worked. <laughs> there we go. Look at there, look how cool. Can you see how quick they're popping up? Here, let me see if I can get this a little closer. Last time I did this, I got paint all over the floor because this is the edge of the table. Look how awesome that is. And that's where the hair serum. And it's this, oops, my hands got paint on it. Coconut milk hair serum. There's a link in the description for it too. So you can see a better view. And here's this one. Now you see how there's a lot of white up here? That's why I left down here open. Because I'm going to put my sand colors here. But then I'm going to start just fidgeting a little bit here just to get waves. So that way we have some room to play. Wow, look how awesome this is. I love all these colors. Let me do the torch a little bit. Oh yeah, if you want to send me pictures, that would be so amazing. I'd love to see them. You can do it a few different ways. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> okay, now we're going crazy with the cells. This is funny. Um, you can do it through uh, my email, which is erica at deserthippiearts.com or go to my Facebook group. It's Paint Pour Academy community Facebook group and you can post pictures there to our group or find me on Facebook it's fluid art with Erica I'm on Instagram and paintpouracademy.com also has a contact page oh wow look at can you see the heat made them all these little teeny tiny cells and some of them are getting a little frac fractally which is really cool perfect for our water Okay, so now we did that. I am going to, I'm not putting silicone in this. I'm gonna start layering. I, this color is Prism Violet. I'm just putting a layer of that in there. I'm gonna mix this up too. And this one is the Neon Pink. This is the red, and I am just squeezing this so it sits on the top, so I don't have a lot of force. So there's not, hopefully not gonna be a lot of mixing of these colors. And this is the yellow for a little pop. And then I'm gonna do it again. And to pour these, I'm gonna do what's called a dirty pour or the ribbon pour. They're pretty similar in how you do it. You just layer a cup and then you pour it. Um, dirty pour allows you to be a little more flexible with how you pour it. You just kind of go everywhere, circle spirals, everything. Ribbon pour is more left to right or up to down. Okay, I'm gonna get these colors out of my way. Because I feel like I'm going to knock them over when I pour. All right. Okay. Let's see what happens. And I am going to pour a little bit on top of this white paint line right here. And I'm just going to go right across. And I'm gonna get some of that white into my fantasy sand. <laughs> Look how fun this is. Okay, that's all of those colors. 
So now I am going to take a stick and I'm just going to push it on the edge of this, scoop some up from my table because so I want to get it, the edges covered. Thank you guys for joining me for this. This is so much fun. This is a great way to end a Monday. Mondays can be hectic, especially coming off of a weekend. You have so much fun on the weekends and then you have to focus on a Monday, which isn't too bad. I'm very grateful for my job. And I'm grateful for my playtime. Okay. Now there is a lot of paint on here. Ooh. It's starting to mix really well there. I'm just adding a little more swoopy lines into here. And especially into the white. This almost looks like a sunset sand with the red. All right, I'm gonna do a little tilt. And then a tilt this way. So do you want that bottom covered properly? All right. So what do you think of this? It's not a lot of purple like I was hoping for, but I love how this is turning out. And I'll turn it around real quick here too, so you can see the bottom. Oops, I had blue on my finger. <laughs> Got some water that's gonna live on the bottom of here with this blue. Okay, let me get a napkin. All right, there's kind of a weirdo meshy thing. I think I'm gonna leave it though, cause look at that. See if I can grab it without touching the side this time. <laughs> look at that, what do you think? Does that look like a fantasy beach, sunset beach? Maybe sunset beach. Look, I tilted it and this thing just got bigger. It's almost a little surfer ghost. <laughs> and this is definitely becoming more fractal. I think it's because I added the heat. Probably shouldn't have added the heat, but that's okay. And look at that one. And then side by side, what do you think about those side by side? Let's see if I can, um, where's my, Let me see if I can, for the fear of just messing with it too much. <laughs> it's just this little white area, it's a little too white for me. Let's see if I can get a little movement for the seashore. And look at all that popping up. Did you see that? Right in there. <laughs> That's funny. That's the beauty about live painting. You get to see all the bloopers. So here, look at here. Things happen for a reason. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. That's the one thing I have. I have a hard time knowing when to stop because sometimes you just need to do the thing and then stop. So now I'm just gonna keep going because I would like them to match a little bit.
and I'm holding on to my palette knife a lot better this time. So it won't go flying in the middle. Ooh, that's not, I pulled up all that yellow. So you'll have to let me know if you like it better the other way before I mess with it or this way. Oh, this is funny. I got a big old yellow. Oh, look at there. It's just blending right in. Now look at that. Got a lot more blue. And this one has a little water. And this one has the yellow going down the middle. <laughs> it definitely is. <laughs> this is an addicting art. And you just have so much fun. And some of these techniques do go quick. Which is why I had some time. Because I found pre-mixing my paint and having them in these uh, containers is so helpful. Especially when you just have a little bit of time. And you're like, you know, I just want to do a little something. Okay. I know, fidgeting, right? And these palette knives, knives are pretty awesome too. They're great for little detail work. And there is a lot of paint just sitting in this area right here, which is okay because I think it'll dry fine because the air in my room has been doing really well. Okay, I'm going to leave them and I am going to let them dry. I know the hair serum cells are really neat. And my experiments that I did the past few weeks, there's no, you don't see it raise on the top like the silicone. It dries real nice and flat. But next week or the week after, I will be spraying those to see how they do with the spray paint too. And, um, Maybe next week I'll do a little tile or something and so that way I can put the resin so we can do a little experiment with that too. So there they are. It's my fantasy beach, which may soon be called Sunset Beach. And let me do this. There you go. There you go. I'm still learning my live stream software. So I want to thank you very much for painting with me. This is a lot of fun. As soon as it is dry, I will post another video update so you can see it. And then when I go to seal it too, I'll see if I can do a little video so you can see how this uh, hair serum does seal with the spray paint. So have a good rest of the evening. Enjoy your day and I'll see you Wednesday night, 6 p.m. Uh, Arizona time, which I believe we're Pacific time. I am going to do another live stream. We're going to do another beach scene. So, good. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you soon. Bye.